Dude, what's we, doing, dog? What, are we lifting or what? Come on. Yeah, just, just want me to get some pre. We got any pre? Yeah, oh, I mean, oh conveniently, it. over here, we got the crack rack, where we get our choice of just, just crack, basically. Depending on how I feel and what time I want to go to bed is going to going to determine what the hell we're going to take. It's 8 o'clock. What are you thinking? Something a little, little on the, the moderate side? When have you ever been one to be moderate? That is true. That is also true. We're going to go with, where is it? Am I blind? Where's the Kool-Aid? Oh, here we go. Kool-Aid loaded. Actually, no, not Kool-Aid. We're gonna stop neglecting the Sunny D and we're gonna go with the Sunny D. This one is honestly, it's arguably the most potent dry sub. Very slept on supplement and people think this is the loaded because it looks the same as, as the Kool-Aid and the, and the bazooka, but it's not. It's blackout and it's got 400 milligrams caffeine and uh, it's not the delayed release caffeine as like the other ones. This one just slaps you right in the fucking face right away. Got a new down the hatch cup. This one's like a coffee mug. We're gonna use this one because the other other ones are dirty and this one's pretty badass it's like a little little cup of joe but today it's gonna be a cup of just chemicals and stimulants let me see the serving on this guy i try to overdose myself serving size one scoop is uh it's 370 milligrams caffeine you know it's a suggested serving size yeah i know it's it is suggested however pretty sure rise puts a warning label on this thing you know what we'll play it safe we'll just do one look one one scoop let's be normal people today all right maybe just be a normal person for once we'll do one scoop and a little extra there. <laughs> Just because I want a massive pump. Actually, speaking of massive pump, I'm gonna concoct it with some pump caps. I'm gonna do four pump caps, that's the serving. I don't know if I can shake this one. Look, it's got a little hole. It's got a little hole there. Hold shake on. it like a, a bartender. Oh, fuck my cat. Can you, can you pick up my pills? There we go. Thought it was gonna leak all over the place. That should be good, right? Yeah, maybe a little chunky. Nah, we're good. Rise ups, that's one thing. They don't really chunk. All right, without further ado, down the freaking hatch. First sip of the Sunny D. One of my fucking nose, dude. First sip of the Sunny D again. And now, fuck. And now for the pills. Look at that, four at once. Literally last year, I couldn't even swallow one. Just evolving when it comes to swallowing. <laughs> Roll off the tongue a little bit, a little bit sus there. Let's make a baby. Gotta get started here. Just lubing up the shoulders and the chest with some bands here. And it's very important to have a little bit of a, like a warm up routine for every every like day in the gym. Like for my upper body days, I do like a specific warm up. Same thing for my leg days. I'm gonna show you guys my upper body warm up uh, routine that I do for literally before every upper body day, just to get me ready, get me loose, and get me lubed up and ready to lift. First thing, do some pass throughs here. It's like literally just going up and around, and you might have to work your way up for this one because not. Everyone is as mobile as I am, but uh, before I did this, I was literally, couldn't get all the way back. I was like right here, but you'll eventually get more flexible. So I do two sets of 15 with this, and then I do some, what is it? Oh, right, pull-aparts. Band pull-aparts, two sets of 15, warm up that rear delt. And then if it's a chest day, I'll do some presses. Same thing, two sets of 15. And then same thing for chest day, I'll warm up my back. Cause when, my, when I have blood in my, when I have blood in my back, it feels amazing on the bench. So I'll warm up my back with some rows here and you can just find a pole in the gym and that's pretty much the routine i'm trying to think if i do anything else maybe maybe some some arm circles just to lube up the rotator cuff make sure it rotates and uh what else oh yeah a foam roll just to get all the kinks out self chiropractics yeah exactly do my self chiropractics and just roll out and then if i have a buddy with me i usually have him crack my back and i'll show you how he does that do you remember how to do it yeah. you sure I do. dude i have a fucking zit mid back right now and the foam roller is on it right now all right come on Oh. Dude, I am reborn. Holy shit. Oh! Yeah. Oh, that's like three or four. Dude, what is wrong? Wait, watch this. The hip. Oh, I am just banging the fuck up. Oh, holy shit. Alrighty, first exercise of this push day. We're moving on to <laughs> what's so fun. Oh, that's the fucking focus. <laughs> <laughs> just love doing that. Love this case. I forget who fucking sent it to me. Somebody emailed me one day in the summer. He's like, yo, I like your content. I want to send you this magnetic phone case. I'm like, yeah, okay, sure. Gave him the address. They sent it to me. Dude, it's my favorite phone case I've ever had. If you're out there, rock form, hit me up again. Give me a new one, different color. Look at this. 
Anyway, first, first exercise of this push day. We're going with the mother of all fitness machines. I said this in one of my TikToks. It is the Smith machine. It is literally the mother of all machines. And I mean that quite literally because the Smith machine is never going to kill you. It's never going to fail you. And it's always out for your best interest because you literally can't fail under it. Like if I was benching, can't go all the way to failure. Usually I lift alone. Can't go all the way to failure and get the maximum out of my milkers because then I'll just straight up die and I'll be stuck under the bar. However, you go to failure on the Smith machine, all you gotta do, rack it. Good, mommy right here. Does that look straight to you? I'm not trying to have my right milker bigger than my left milker. I'm trying to have equal fun bags. I'm not trying to have one of the fun bags that's not having fun, you know what I mean? Gotta make sure the bench is straight. I feel like it's uneven. <laughs> I thought the bar was gonna hit you for a second. I thought the bar was gonna hit the camera. Another thing that people uh, don't really take into account when they think about the Smith machine is that when you're benching, like with an actual barbell, you're using a lot of like little stabilizer muscles. Your shoulders are involved a little bit. When you're benching on the Smith machine, it's a fixed bar path because you got a, little, got a little track here and this allows you to just isolate that chest just that much more and not feel it anywhere else. So if your goal is strictly bodybuilding purposes, I'd pick the Smith machine any day over the barbell. And I know everyone loves the barbell bench press. And if you like that, then do that. However, if you want a little bit more of an isolation, the Smith, I think, is the go-to. Not emphasizing the slam yet. We're only got a 25 on. And uh, a little rule of thumb I like to go by is you can never have too much warm-up. You can never warm up too much. I like to warm up with 25s first. A lot of people jump right into a plate. But uh, I like to do 25s first. Just, it's not going to hurt. An extra fucking three minutes or two minutes. Just do a set with this so I don't tear my pec. I'm fine with that. I like to do as much warm-up as possible till I feel ready. If you do feel ready to go to a plate, then do that, but you can never go wrong with extra warm up, especially when it's something like your chest. Who wants to tear the freaking pec and be out of the gym for six months? Not me. Just do the extra warm up, all right? I don't know, man. Milkers are feeling good today, dude. And if you guys look closely, you'd see that I'm doing a uh, suicide grip. And if you don't know what that is, it is literally what it sounds like. I'm gripping the bar, not with my thumb around it, like this, just in case if it slips, it's basically killing me, suicide, get it? But uh, yeah, I'm gripping it with a suicide grip on the Smith machine, just cause I feel a little bit more safer to do it. I wouldn't do that on the normal barbell, but on the Smith, it feels really good. It allows me to really just isolate that chest a little bit better. And it's not really comfortable for me to wrap my thumb around the Smith. It hurts my wrist a little bit, so. I do that on the Smith, I would not do that on the actual barbell. Cause it slips out of your hands, fucking right into the sternum. That's all she wrote for you. So, suicide on the Smith, not on the actual barbell. I mean, I've seen a lot of people do it with some heavy ass weight and tip the cap to you. You got some big old balls. Not going that heavy, I gotta keep my ego in check cause I've been going too heavy lately and uh, I literally have been just hurting myself all over the place. Shoulder got fucked up, hips got fucked up, knees got fucked up, we already know that. Fucking knees are shot. But uh, yeah, dude. You yesterday. Literally. <laughs> yeah, I was fucking bowling at the bowling alley. I was literally bowling with him. I was bragging, I was like, cause I go to a chiropractor now, and ever since I got went to this chiropractor, I've been feeling, my body's been feeling pristine. I've been feeling amazing. I have no injuries, no nothing. So, as soon as I get to the bowling alley, I'm bragging to Mike, I'm saying, I got a chiropractor now, I'm fucking loose, I'm gonna out bowl the shit out of you. Talking all this shit. First game, smoked this kid. Had, a, had literally one of my highest scores ever. Second game, I go up to bowl, right? I go up to bowl, and I, I take the step, the last step before actually bowling it. This knee, buckles. And I look at Mike and he's like, dude, your knee just buckled. I was like, yeah, I know, I felt it. The bowl went in the fucking gutter with shit from there. Couldn't bowl. I had a bowl like this. I had a bowl straight legged. So my knees are, I don't know what the problem is there. I honestly think there's something really wrong with them, but I just, I'm just ignore, ignoring, it. ignoring it. You're fine. But dude, the next day after that, dude, I sent you a video. I squat in three, I hit a PR, I hit a squat PR. However, though, on that, on that squat PR, bro. You hear it, I literally, I have the video, so I'm squatting and I go, you hear it, it's disgusting. I put, put the music nice and loud so I don't hear it, but something's seriously wrong there. So I'm starting a new program today. So it's push pull legs, but the volume's a little lower and the volume get, creeps up as I go along. But yeah, so only like two sets to failure today. And as I get balls deeper into this cut, the volume's gonna go up and the weight's gonna go up. But for now, we start off a little lighter and a little less intense. Gotta pace ourselves. Gotta run before you can walk. You mean walk before you can run. Yeah, walk. Well, <laughs> you gotta walk before you can run. That's what I meant. I'm a fucking idiot.
Light as fuck, baby. I'm gonna slam. Wanna slam? It's hard. This, this, uh, what do you call it? The bar on the Smith is not that long, so I can't really, really grind it out. Yeah, but I'll... Come on, just a hit. <laughs> I'm gonna bring you all the way back, all the way back to the end, and really get that, that torque in the hips. Emphasize the slam. I was like I was in the box there, and I just fucking hit a dinger. That felt good. Yeah, guys, there's, just don't be afraid when you're in the gym, dude. It's loud, it's already loud as it is. Just fucking make it louder by just emphasizing the slam. This thing is uneven, bro. Look at it. <laughs> It's, it's curving. It's curving to the. It's curving to the left, like you know, like something else. All right, last warm up. Is this still your warm up? Yeah. Warm up fucking five. Paying you good. I'm paying. I'm paying you good. Don't worry. You're getting a hundred dollars after this. Nice, huh? Nice Chris Benjamin. Virtual Benjamin, though. Give me a Venmo. I don't have the cold heart on me. Touch my neck and I'll touch yours. I wasted shorts, girl. Oh yeah. Too easy. Time for the working sets. Two dishes. Get that fucking. You fucking. Fucking whore. Oh, my shin is just destroyed, dude. Oh, shit. That's all right. We'll take out the anger on the emphasis. I just feel so good. Nothing but net here. How's that? Nothing but net. Didn't get enough emphasis on it, though. There's just nothing more empowering. Now the thing is, you gotta have the same plates. Cause my OCD is killing me. You think I'm gonna put on this 10 with this 10? Are you fucking out of your mind? No, we put on this 10, the Rogue, with the Rogue 10. All right? It's the same weight. Doesn't matter. Same weight, I don't give a, I don't give a shit. Doesn't matter. It has to look good. It, the bar has to look beautiful. The setup has to look beautiful for the set to be beautiful. Now we gotta throw on a fucking banger for the first working set. Let's go, baby. First set. I don't like this song. No, the Trend Twins. There we go. Everything in your body, turn you not to do it. Special thanks to the Trend Twins for that one. Without that song, without that little remix on SoundCloud, wouldn't have hit that set. How's that? Let's go. Michael's sniping down there. Wi-Fi won't play the song. My delts are on absolute fucking fire. But now, we're gonna pour the gasoline right on them and make the fire burn that much hotter. Watch out, I don't wanna hit you. Oh, fuck it. Holy shit. Can't pick this up right now, so. A mm. mm. little bit sus, but when you're training hard, you gotta adapt. I think I actually got hurt. No, no, burning. No, I'm not hurt. No, I, I literally thought you tore your it's, entire. No, it's burning. I can't lift the bottle. That's why I'm fucking. That's why I just went in for it. All right, that is the end of the video. I had a fucking sick workout, guys. To be honest with you. Um, but before I go, I just want to take this time to thank all of you for the love and support lately. You guys have been absolutely killing it with my codes, code drive. The on Rye Subs, um, Young LA, and Elysium. I just can't thank you enough from the bottom of my heart because that's how your boy makes his living. But uh, other than that, super excited to get these videos rolling. Hope you guys enjoy them. And I truly appreciate your guys' feedback on them. 
Just let me know what you think I should improve on in the comments, what you want to see, and just anything, man. Anything you want to see, just freaking put it down there because that's how I'm going to get better. You got to start somewhere. But all that said, hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, drop a comment, all that good stuff for the algorithm. If you want some sweet gym drip, Code IV, Young LA, and Elysium. And if you need some subs and you need to get cracked out, Code IV, Rise Subs. And yeah, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.